Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another iMovie tutorial. Today we're going to take a first look at the updates to iMovie and what I like to call iMovie 4K because we finally got some love from Apple in the 4K department. Okay, so first things first, what do we got here? We got a new button here that allows us to switch to uh, basically show and hide the media library, but also switch to a really potentially nice and big player, uh, depending on how much you like, how small you like to edit your video clips. Let me just shrink some stuff up here so we can give a kind of a better dem demo of that. So yeah, the switching back from media library to non-media library. You also notice we have a projects button here. So you click on projects and it shows all your projects, but also has media and the theater, which I don't use the theater whatsoever. And I recommend that you don't either. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so we'll go to projects and we'll go into, actually I'm currently making the, the new version of the tutorial to cover this software update. But let's go back into our video here. Okay, so what else do we have? You also notice that now we have navigation to the different sections. We have my media, we have audio, we have titles, backgrounds, and transitions are now up here. Which is pretty cool. Okay, let's go back to my media. Okay, also, as you might have saw, in the settings right over here, we now have the ability to control a couple of things. We have information about the actual project itself. We have a, whether a theme is chosen or not. Uh, if there's a filter, you can actually control filters from here as well as another location. You can trim the background music. You can add the fade in from black and fade out to black. This actually comes over from iMovie for iOS, iPad, iPhone, etc. And you can control the size of the clips here and whether to show the waveform or not. So what else do we have here? We have a gear here that lets us control the clip size of the media library and how zoomed in it is. Show waveform or not. Okay. And now we also have, let me, let me jump to, let me start a new project actually, hold on. Go to the projects, we're gonna add a new one. Movie trailer, not movie trailer, movie, no theme. 4K test. This clip right here is actually 4K. So let me show you what happens when you actually share. We have the ability to actually can go into 4K. And again, quality is still, still the same. Compression, you know, still the same. But the ability to actually export in 4K is pretty cool. This one still does the same thing, allows you to close and open. I'm trying to think what else. Oh, um, you cannot control this pane right here, the horizontal left and right here. The only way you can make it bigger or smaller is by decreasing the size of the timeline, which in turn increases the size of the player. Or again, hitting the switch here that allows you to do that. Another feature we have here is from the iOS side of iMovie. We actually have some more filters that were added. So the number of filters has been increased 10. If you use these at all, I don't use them very often, but once in a while, I guess. If you want to do like a black and white or something like that. The ability to actually start editing on iOS and then send the project over to iMovie on the Mac. You can do that, but you have to do that from your iOS device. Also, those of you that have the 5K iMacs, the ability to actually edit 4K video in a pixel per pixel viewer, you can do that as well. Okay, I think that's about it. Um, look forward to the full tutorial. I'm about 50% done. So I'm hoping 
within a week or so, I'll actually post that up. This time I decided to, to do it a little bit differently. I decided to do like chapters, kind of like sections. That way in the description I can put a time code on it that you can click to to jump straight to the section. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, tell your friends, post your comments below, and of course, lots of peace and aloha. Thanks for watching.